What's going on, boxing fans? Julian Williams here at the distance. Got a video for you guys. This is a prediction for the upcoming bout between Bobby Gunn and James Tony. It's going to be on April the 7th for the IBA Heavyweight Championship. So, pretty much, this is a championship that James Tony has held once before. He defeated Fred, Fast Fred Zokendo back on, I want to say, December the 13th of 2008. I, I kind of remember that date because the same, because the same day Kendall Holt fought. Uh, Demetrius Hopkins on Showtime for the WBO light welterweight championship and at the same and also like on HBO during the day Vladimir Klitschko fought Hasim Rahman and on versus Fresno Kendall fought James Tony and James Tony won the split decision so that's pretty much how I kind of remember that so anyway getting into this fight and I'm just say I'm just gonna say this right off the bat I just think that James Tony will dominate Bobby Gunn. And if he doesn't dominate Bobby Gunn, if this fight is not less than eight rounds, if James Tony can't take out Bobby Gunn, then then um, James Tony just needs to end his career. And I personally think that James Tony needs to end his career right now because he's 43 years old. He'll be 44 in August of this year. And he's not going to get any significant fights. Possibly the most significant fight that he can get is against Tomas Adamek. Tomas Adamek would probably be the right opponent for James Tony, just because Adamek is still coming back after a major loss against Vitaly Klitschko back in September, and he's going to be looking to come to make his comeback, you know, into contention. So, who better than a veteran like a James Tony for Tomas Adamek? That will build his confidence a little bit more, being that he's going to have a future Hall of Famer possibly on his resume but also a win for James Tony could lead to bigger and better things that could lead to him being in contentionship for a championship against one of the Klitschko brothers but overall I wouldn't keep my fingers crossed with Tony getting the getting a shot at the Klitschko brothers so just overall I don't think James Tony has anything has anything left to prove he got injured in his last fight I think his Achilles got messed up and his arm was messed up and had surgery also, we barely understand the word that comes out of his mouth, and this is not me being funny. I just, these days, I can't understand a word that comes out of his mouth. I'm, I could probably understand, you know, a thing or two that he says, but I just don't understand what's coming out of his mouth because he just, he sounds pun dr punch drunk, and he doesn't speak coherently. But just overall, I think that James Tony should go in and defeat Bobby Gunn. Bobby Gunn is the bare knuckle champion, like that means any significance. He somehow, some way, got a fight with Enzo Macronelli in 2007 and was knocked out in one round. And somehow he got a fight with Tomas Adamek when Adamek was coming up as a heavyweight and was stopped and was stopped after the fourth round against him. And Adamek was able to hit him easily. The other fight seen him in against against um, Macronelli. In that fight, he was he was able to be hit easily and another fight I've seen him in against I think his name Shelby Gross or something like that that's another fight where you could just see all kinds of openings from him. but with James Tony James Tony creates his own openings he um, creates his his punches and also he walks forward and and um, Bobby Gunn has trouble fighting off the back foot he's slow on his feet he's easy to hit he's easy, easy to counter and he's he's overall he's easy to back up, and this is the, and 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 also he's he's slow with his hands. He telegraphs his shots. So this is the perfect fight for James Tony. James Tony should knock out this guy in less than eight rounds. Um, like I said, um, James Tony hasn't had has only had two knockouts, in I want to say the last ten years. Um, Matthew Greer and the Vander Holyfield. Those are his last two knockouts, last two stoppages. Um, and I think in this fight, James Tony gets the stoppage against Bobby Gunn, just because. And, then, and another thing with him, he doesn't tuck his chin. So James Tony is just too good for this guy. And if he doesn't win this fight, he needs to call it a day. 
And but if he does win this fight, you know he should try to fight Admac. It's that simple. So anyway, peeps, that was the distance. Thanks for watching. Peace. It's like a jungle sometimes, it makes me wonder how I keep going under my seat to get it. And uh, niggas in the crew say I'm the bullshit in the side. Guess that's